Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your own your weekly reading. I was gonna say your own personal reading. It is not your own personal reading. It's a weekly reading for the collective Scorpio. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Let's go ahead and jump into this Scorpio. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you. You got some relationship dynamic coming up. So the dynamic of a relationship could have shifted. Could have been that it was just you and you and Boo, and now it's you, Boo, and somebody else that this person had brought into the connection. Maybe even some babies and uh, some maybes too. You know, oh, it's crazy. All right, let's see. Body changes. So some of you are working out, um, getting in shape, or needing to. Um, also listen to your body uh, when you're around certain people. If, if things ail, if there are aches, if there are pains, if there are constant headaches, um, do know that you know those things mean something, okay? Um, listen to your body, body changes here. Uh, some of you could just be going to go get surgery. Uh, again, working out, working on yourself. Grief work, okay? It wanted to come in in the reverse, but these cards shouldn't be reversed. Some of you need to do the grief work in terms of going to counselors, seeking therapy, seeking um, knowledge, advice of how to move forward, how to move forward better as a healed individual. Some of you are grief counselors, tarot card readers, uh, uh, psychotherapists, psychologists. Some of you offer that type of work also. Um, check in on, in on yourself also if you do that kind of work. You need to have an, a positive outlet also. So um, that's that. Self-employment. Some of you are self-employed here. Um, money is coming in. If you're not self-employed and you've been thinking about it, then this gives you, um, you know, this is a sign that this is where you should be. This is what you should be focused on. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this is what you should be focused on. Self-employment being highlighted. You work independently. Uh, you work very well independently okay um your structured uh dynamic and you're able to see something through okay and you have vision so that's good uh, let's see the last change of your mind you could be changing your mind about anything here but definitely um changing our mind is uh common of course we change our mind every single day at the bottom of the deck new exercise program so we definitely have someone exercising here or getting augmentation to their body in some foot in some fashion so that's really good changing your mind you could be changing your mind about a specific person place or a thing um changing our mind happens all the time um we may get enlightenment another piece of information knowledge that puts us in a place where we need to change course we need to change direction of focus here um so some of you could be changing your mind. Let's see what you're changing your mind about. What is Scorpio changing their mind about? Okay, the Five of Cups. Um, you're changing your mind. Maybe you have regret, remorse uh, for leaving somebody out or them leaving you out or you haven't gone through the grieving process. You feel like something was taken from you or vice versa. This person feels like something was taken from them. This is going to flip out of the deck, the star card. You feel like you need to have healing in terms of some connection that you were in. Someone, a connection that fulfilled you on a very high level with a star card. It could be with an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. Um, but with this person, you found um, belonging. Uh, yeah, you found belonging. You felt like you belonged with this person here. Uh, you felt like you were on the right path in terms of being with this person. You could be changing your mind about this relationship being over. It looks like some of you don't know how to come back to uh, or come back into connection with. A lot has happened between the two of you. It says that the relationship is recoverable in the Five of Cups, but it's about you crossing that bridge, uh, mending fences, um, forgiveness, uh, healing that severed tie, um, and actually doing the work to come back together. And, it, you know, that's always... Um, an issue with human beings doing the work, right? Let's see what self-employment has to say for you, uh, Scorpio. What about self-employment for Scorpio? You guys can't see that one. Okay. So, changing your mind in Five of Cups. We'll leave that there. Okay, self-employment. 
Wow, very nice. Nine of Cups. You, like I said, you you're highly motivated. You have vision. You do it very well. You have the Nine of Pentacles with self-employment. This is our self-employment card. It talks about a savvy business owner. Um, again, you have envision. You've seen something through. Um, you have gotten to the Nine of Pentacles um, by way of all your dedication and hard work. You 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 ate shit and you kept going at times. Um, you made something work for you. The what? The um, what? Wash, rinse, repeat cycle. You just and you got out of that to now where maybe something uh, works autonomously for you. Um, it just works. Money is working for you. Um, you could be uh, less, you know, hands on. You're at a place of um, stability. You have all that you need. Um, abundance. You have all that you need and you're not at a place of trying to make money and keep money. Um, therefore, you can focus on other things. You can focus on aspirations in terms of spirituality, uh, of course, of your body, because we saw a lot of body changes in exercise. So it looks like um, you have time to focus on other areas of your life, which is good. What is grief work for Scorpio? What is grief work for Scorpio? If your business is not picking up, it looks like it will pick up here with the nine of pentacles. Uh, if you have a business, if you haven't started a business, you definitely should do so. It looks like it could be very abundant, very fruitful for you. Okay. Nine of uh, grief work. Okay. The five of pentacles. Yeah. So maybe you feel used, um, abused. Keep in mind, people who are strong in their self-worth never feel used okay um so get into understanding your worth your self-worth therefore you can never feel used if you know how much you are worth you always know that at any table you sit at there will be a need and someone will be asking you to meet that need because your worth is very high whatever that need may be now you can put parameters and boundaries on you know what you give and what you don't give but still when you are high in self-worth and you understand your self-worth it's hard to feel used because you'll always know that someone will need of you or ask of you okay um so maybe you felt like somebody took you for a ride you felt like um someone was using you uh you felt like uh right now you may either another person or you you feel like you you feel ignored neglected shut out shun you just feel like something is not moving forward or it can't move forward um maybe due to the fact that um <clears throat> someone got what they wanted from you and then left or they just left or somebody just left you feel abandoned uh yeah you might need to go talk to somebody with that sitting on top of grief work what is or someone feels that way okay um what is body work i mean i said body work okay somebody is getting their body done okay all right go um body changes what, are, what is body changes what is body the ten of cups whatever it is you're gonna be very happy with it okay you're gonna be happy with your results you are happy with your results um it's putting you at a place of just um elation fun fun in the sun to a source some of you could be on a fence about maybe getting your body done or or getting some work done um there's something you don't know or something you're not seeing um there could have been a breakdown and a very close connection and maybe it's manifesting in your body now with the two of swords it could have been with a libra um maybe the relationship is no longer um you feel some type of way especially around maybe different moon phases um different emotions kind of well up for you uh you need to kind of handle that uh deal with the emotions process them i feel like you fill in the blank since i feel like this i need to fill in the blank after i do this i will hopefully feel like fill in the blank so you just really need to process instead of push down or push away or try not to think about it or drink it away or whatever with that ten of cups there um so that could also be something too in terms of 
how your body feels in terms of a, a relationship. It says that there could be room for reconciliation in terms of a close relationship that broke down, but that you guys have to have cooperation. So somebody's gonna have to follow the leader. Who's gonna be the leader? Um, somebody's, somebody's gonna have to take charge because there's a power struggle here, okay? Um, so interesting, interesting reading. Let's leave Scorpio with one last card here. One last card for Scorpio. Seven of Wands. Yeah, create those healthy boundaries. Uh, maintain your peace, your serenity. There could be someone coming in with a destructive influence. Mars in Leo uh, to uh, kind of uh, tear down what maybe you are constructing. Look, there's a fence there. Maybe there's something behind there. Maybe this person is trying to build something. And then you have to fight. You have to stand your ground here. Even if it's, you know, even if it's just standing up for something you believe in and it's a minority position, meaning it could be only you and one other person who feels this way, you still have to stand up for it. You still have to be the activist, um, the advocate for, for what you believe in. Also, there could be somebody trying to get your attention and trying hard to maintain your attention when they do get it in relationship also. Um, there, you could have a lot of people vying for your attention right now. You have to fight them off with a stick. Um, it seems as if you're not interested right now in, in that, whatever that may be, relationships, or you're just not interested. Uh, maybe you want carefree connections where you're not serious about anything or anybody, okay? It's all about the emotional um, pleasure side of um, relationships here, okay? Uh, the fantasy. So, and that could be you because this is your energy, Scorpio, or this could be someone you're dealing with, all right? All right, so this is what I have for you. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where I can, where you can text the question to me to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you.